Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we dive into the fascinating world of internet history. I'm your boy the hero, and today we're exploring one of the most important resources on the web, the Internet Archive. Let's get started. Imagine being able to travel back in time to see what your favorite website looked like 10, 15, or even 20 years ago. Sounds impossible, right? Well, thanks to the Internet Archive, you can do just that and much more. Introducing Macintosh. It does all the things you'd expect a business computer to do. It does a lot of things you wouldn't expect a business computer to do. So what exactly is the Internet Archive? In simple terms, it's a nonprofit digital library with a mission to provide universal access to all knowledge. Launched in 1996 by Brewster Scully, the Internet Archive aims to preserve the vast amounts of digital information that might otherwise be lost to time. Mr. Kali is an internet entrepreneur and digital librarian, envisioned a place where people could freely access a massive collection of digital content ranging from websites and books to music. The, the collections that we have of YouTube or um, uh, Google Video and Yahoo Video that are extinct now, but lots and lots of audio recordings. Um, we're starting to really move forward on 78 RPM records, which is completely movies and software, and that's exactly what the Inner Archive has become. So one of the most popular features of the Inner Archive is the Wayback Machine. This tool allows users to see archived versions of websites across different points in time. Whether you're looking for an old version of your favorite blog or researching how a website evolved, the Wayback Machine has got you covered. Using the Wayback Machine is super easy. Just enter the URL of the website you want to see, select a date from timeline, and voila! you're instantly transported back in time. It's a treasure trove for historians, researchers, and anyone who's curious about the internet's past. But the Internet Archive isn't just about websites. It also hosts millions of books, music tracks, movies, and software. Want to read an out-of-print book? Check out the Internet Archive. If you're looking for classic PC games, the Internet Archive has got you covered. From educational resources to entertainment, it's all there. Russian general. If you didn't digitize it, how long would that last? It would just it would get lost with time. Yeah. It's an interesting challenge. How do we preserve our history, our knowledge, our information in a digital world? First step, put it all online. Just all of it. Experts and educators around the world praise the Internet Archive for its invaluable contributions to preserving digital culture. It's a go-to resource for anyone looking to explore the digital footprints and our past. So maintaining this vast archive requires a lot of storage space. The Inner Archive operates a massive data center filled with servers that store petabytes of data. It's monumental tasks, but essential for safeguarding our digital heritage. So next time you're curious about the history of a website, looking for an old game, or just want to dive into the some digital nostalgia, remember, the Internet Archive is a truly amazing resource that helps us connect with the past and understand the evolution of the digital world. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating history of the internet. So see you in the next video.